All right, today we're gonna install Poke MMO on an Android device. I'm gonna do my best to walk, us, walk you through this as easily as I can. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go into the app, the Play Store, and download RAR, R-A-R. It's gonna be the first one that comes up when you search it, the icon is gonna look like that. You're gonna wanna have that file. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is down in the link, uh, in the description to this video, I'm gonna have a link to pokemmo.com, and I'm gonna have a link to a zip folder where you can download the ROMs for this, okay? So that all the, all the ROMs in that pack are gonna be the ones that you're gonna need for this. So let's go ahead and while you're, while you're doing that, you go to pokemmo.com and then up at the top, there's a download tab. You're gonna click that download tab and then down here, you're gonna go download the APK. And this is after you've downloaded the RAR client, the RAR app, and the ROMs that I have linked in the Google Drive down in the description, okay? And obviously you need to do all of this on your phone. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Um, so while that's downloading, so when it's done, it's gonna say open file or you can come up here into the downloads and when it's done, hopefully you can see that. There's a little bit of a glare there. Let's see if we can't remedy that a little bit. There we go. So you can see where, it, where it's done downloaded, right? It's downloaded the APK. You can just click it to open it or if you can catch it when it says open file when you're done, either way, it'll be fine. It's gonna ask if you want to install it, and we obviously do. So it's gonna do its thing. So now you've got the Poke MMO client installed. You should have the ROMs installed through the, through the Google Drive link, and then you should have RAR installed as well, okay? And it will finish any second now, I imagine. I'm wondering how it's gonna do it. So I did this on my own once to make sure I could do it and then uh, I uninstalled it all and we're gonna do it again. So hopefully that all, it also runs me. So it's, it's done, we can just leave it there. Now, I'm gonna go grab it and drag it over here to this screen real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so now we've got our Poke MMO client and then you can open RAR and in your downloads, you will see the Pokemon ROMs zip you're gonna select that, and then you're gonna select the folder in here, and then you can click this arrow, that this this picture with the arrow. What that's gonna do is just extract everything and then turn it into this folder so that you have access to this folder, okay? So that's all you, that's, uh, that's what you need this app for. Once you've done that, I, I would suggest, what I had to do was make a note and which ROM was which ROM was which. So the ROMs all have numbers at the beginning of them if we look. So 1636 is fire red, 4787 is heart gold, etc. I had to make a note because when, when we go into the app and we're actually putting the ROMs in, I can't see the whole title. So I've made a note for you. I'm gonna do it with you. I've made a note for you which ROM is which so you don't have to worry about that. So now that that's done, you've extracted that folder and you actually have access to the ROMs. Now you're gonna open the Poke MMO client and it's gonna bring you to this screen. And this is where we have to put all the ROMs in that we just downloaded. So we're just gonna to start top to bottom and we're gonna go. So we know that, all right, had a, this phone's kinda of old so it keeps lagging on me. Um, you're going to, after you open the game, you're gonna click the, the select file next to the black white ROM. It's gonna probably bring you in here to recent. So if it does, you just need to click these dots and go to downloads. And then your Pokemon's uh, ROMs folder should be here somewhere. Very, very easy to access for you. All right, from here, we just need, well, I didn't mean to click that, did I? You jerk. All right, from here, we just need to assign each appropriate ROM to the appropriate slot. So we know that 5584 was our white ROM. It's gonna say, would you like to copy this ROM to the Poke MMO app storage, delete source file? We're gonna say yes. It's gonna run through its little process here. And then you notice that it's gonna change over here. Once you put the ROM in, it's gonna change from, uh, I think it's gonna change from optional to info. Let's, let's double check if that's right. So we know fire red is 1636. So we're gonna do the same thing here. And then see now it says info. That means the ROM is there and you could access the info. So next up is Emerald. Emerald doesn't have a number. It just says Pokemon and you probably see the E there. The, oops, I might've clicked Emerald again accidentally. Let me go back. 
Oh, you're such a jerk. Well, we're gonna hope I clicked plat. I did, all right, good. And then unknown, which one is unknown? Unknown is probably heart gold, so let's do that there. And that is 4997. No, 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 I'm sorry, 4787 is heart gold. Wow, dude, it is hard. I'm having a hard time <laughs> from this angle. Yes, there. So unknown, I don't know why it says unknown, but either way, that's where heart gold is gonna go apparently. And then, so when you're done with that, you're just gonna come up here and click this X, and it said that the game must be restarted. It's gonna take you back to your home screen. You're gonna relaunch Poke MMO. It's gonna load everything up for you. And then if everything's good, we should have music and a login screen. And that's how we'll know we did everything right. Yep, so you can unselect all, leave it on English, hit the X again, and there we go. Now you're on your login screen. So whatever account you made on the Poke MMO website, you just log in here. And it is platform to platform, so if you're playing on PC for a little bit, hopefully that's not too loud. <laughs> if you, you know, play on PC for a little bit and then you want to go somewhere on your phone, you log out on, or, or you exit on your PC, log in on your phone, you can pick up across platforms from, from whatever you're doing. So it's pretty cool. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully I went through everything thoroughly enough. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll do my best to answer you. There's also a link to my Discord down below where we're kind of growing our own Poke MMO community. So uh, I plan on putting a lot of content out for the game. And if you want to jump in there and get plugged in, join the team, and you know be there for alpha callouts and other things like that, you can check that out as well. But that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm getting out of here. Appreciate y'all. Later.